Good morning, and thank you very much. My apologies for that. This is a project that is a it's as a result of a partnership between the Eastern Cape and, um, and the Lower Saxony in Germany. Um, so this this is a, a part of um, a, a, the three projects or the three areas of, of concentration in the in the in the partnership. There are many people that have many stakeholders that are involved in this uh, um, uh, uh, project. At Tuatu, uh, which is a village just uh, outside Fort Beaufort, there is a mini grid, and this mini grid uh, has a, a small uh, solar farm, a, a small wind farm. Uh, it has a battery a bank and an autonomous uh, power conversion and management system to to turn the energy into useful ex electricity and uh, and a backup diesel generator. So. Uh, the, the 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 solar farm produces about 75 kilowatts, and 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 the wind farm produces about 21.5 kilowatts. So uh, during times when there is a so the, the area has only the, the village has 57 uh, houses. So it's it's a partnership between us as well as the 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 the, the Raymond Shaba municipality. So as you can see, what we were launching is exactly that mini grid. So the people of that village, because it's very remote, um, they will now benefit and have electricity. We have trained the municipality, uh, capacitated the workers, and so because uh, now that we have launched it, we have one year in which um, um, the. The, the department is going to be taking care of, of the mini grid, but there, thereafter the municipality must be able to maintain this mini grid. So uh, that is the kind of uh, 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 work that we have done. We've partnered also with universities. Out of that uh, project, as as it started in 2018, uh, 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 going forward, there have been uh, four doctoral do doctorates that came out of it, four master's degree and four. A honors degree. So we partner together with NMU and the University of Forte. It's a great project, and we just, it's a it's a good project for the people of uh, Tuatu or Blankwater, and they are very happy about it. The last part is that what I like about it is that the people of Tuatu are looking after it mm. uh, to ensure that there is no vandalism in the project. Thank you very much. No, absolutely. I mean, it has been seven years in the making and uh, your excitement around the it coming full circle uh, is quite encouraging and really just the next few years, the further development that will happen there. But why did it take uh, seven years? What were some of the challenges that you were met with as you were trying to see uh, this project bear fruit? Uh, part of the challenges that we had, uh, one of them was, of course, the the, the lockdown levels uh, during the time of COVID. They have contributed uh, greatly, but also it's taken seven years because the the plan was also only to have the solar farm, and as time con uh, uh, went by, there was an agreement that look, um, we might have this solar farm. But what happens if uh, there is no sun for a week? Mm. Uh, it would be de defeat the very same objectives we had. So they had to be uh, and uh, they, uh, design, they had to design now the the wind uh, um, um, uh, wind farm uh, with those uh, uh, turbines that you have seen the small turbine. So it then continued with the program starting all over again to ensure that we we we, we continue both of them. Uh, with both of them, that we connect both uh, uh, farms. So th that's what it just might have, it has taken for, for 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 so long. But mm. I, I can say that the lockdown uh, uh, levels have contributed greatly. Other than that, there has been v um, uh, much cooperation uh, from the side of uh, of the of the community. We can't even accuse them of stalling the project. There has been much cooperation from the side of the municipality as well and GMRE. So we can't, there is no, there's nothing from, from these partners that has actually contributed in installing the project. It was just that uh, uh, the stages uh, took too, too long. All the parts that were used in that project were manufactured in South Africa. So mm. we can't even say we waited for parts to come from overseas. Mm, mm, that's very encouraging that the local manufacturing industry has also benefited from this project. But what else does the study around this project show you, MEC, in terms of the economic development within those communities? Uh, surely this has contributed to the income of those residing and benefiting from this uh, solar and wind energy project. Actually, all of those that 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 uh, are living there, that were, some of them have been um, 
um, uh, cultivating uh, their own vegetables uh, in the in, in in the village. Uh, one of the people there who used to cultivate vegetables and and sell them to the market used to earn about a thousand. And now he's able to produce seven times what he, he was able to to to, to produce uh, uh, during that time. There's there's also an opportunity. Actually, part of what we discovered there is that there's an opportunity um, that uh, there could be more done because the people of they use about thirty percent of that electricity. But we know as time goes by, there will be more people stay um, moving into that village. So there's an opportunity of 70% that could be used for other things. So we're looking at how do we partner with other departments, for instance, on, on the one on agriculture, to assist people with food gardens, so that, I mean, bigger gardens, actually, where we could use that excess electricity to ensure that we we, we irrigate those gardens. We also have to look at all other uh, departments. What can they offer to the people of that area in, order, in terms of projects that they can do that require electricity? So that the electricity during the day doesn't go to waste because between 12 and, 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 and 4 o'clock, uh, in fact, between 12 and 4 o'clock, there's a lot of electricity that goes to waste that is not being used. So we're looking at that and we, we are hoping that uh, we, we will be able to come up with projects that will ensure that the, 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 the community gets the maximum benefit out of this project. Well, thank you very much for those insights and we wish you well uh, as a department as you continue to roll out the different phases on the project in other communities. That is Eastern Cape Economic Development, Environmental Affairs and Tourism, MEC Mlungisi Mvoko joining us there to speak about that solar and wind energy project that as you've just heard has uplifted uh, the community there in Blinkvater and obviously others to come.